Hey, this is Avi Gutman with another Ask Me Anything event brought to you by QuantReasoning.com. I invite you to join me live next time. We do this every Saturday at 11 a.m. Eastern, and you can attend for free by starting your free trial at QuantReasoning.com. You know, uh, surprisingly, uh, at least I think it's surprising, I think this question is much easier to solve if you ignore the first few words in the beginning. Like, try, try solving this question again. You won't be able to pick an answer, but uh, try doing all of the thinking without those first few words. Let's see if this is any easier for you to, to think through. And you'd probably want to take your long pause at the end of that sentence. Take a long pause here. If you have two containers such that one is three times as big as the other, and you want them to be filled to the same percent, you'll need to put three times as much stuff in the container that's three times as big. There's a direct positive correlation between the sizes of the containers and the amount of stuff each of them needs to receive in order to be full to the same percent. So the amount of gasoline that would go into them would have to be in a ratio of 3 to 1 for a total of 4 ratio units. And now I can reveal the first few words. We know that the total is 5 liters, so the 4 ratio units represent an actual quantity of 5 liters, and the question is asking for this quantity. So the question mark, just looking at my ratio horizontally, the question mark should be 3 fourths of 5 liters. Or if you prefer, you can infer the scale factor there of 5 fourths. Getting the scale factor, you just have to take the actual number divided by the number of ratio units that are represented, and then apply that same scale factor here. So two different ways to finish this off. You either just take 3 fourths of 5 liters, so that would be uh, 15 fourths, or you multiply the three times the scale factor and of course get the same answer, which is 15 fourths. And this is where we do have to convert from an improper fraction to a mixed fraction. Or we could just approximate and say, look, this is going to be more than three, but less than four. So let's see. Yeah, Parash did something really nice, uh, very similar to my solution, uh, just a different uh, different lens through which to look at it. He said, look, the total capacity for these two containers is 8 liters, and the total amount of gasoline is 5 liters, so I know exactly what this percent will be, because it's the same percent. If it wasn't the same percent, then all bets are off. Then maybe they're being filled to different percentages. But if, it's, if they're both getting filled to the same percent, what's that percent going to be? It's whatever is 5 out of 8. Because I have a total of 5 liters of gasoline and a total capacity of 8 liters. So what percent is that? Well, it's 5 eighths, whatever that is. Okay? And it's, so it's 62 and a half percent, in case you were curious. And then he said, okay, 5 eighths of 6, you can reduce a factor of 2, like that. And you end up, of course, with the same answer. So it's another perspective uh, that you could use to solve this question. That's a beautiful solution. So what Chris did is he said, I'm going to think of these 5 liters as 4 plus 1 liters. And what was his motivation to do that? Well, 5 isn't a very convenient number in the context of 8 liters. 4 is much more convenient. 4 is exactly half of the total capacity. So he said, I can use those 4 liters to fill each of the containers half, halfway. I have one liter left, from that one liter I'm going to have to distribute that by the ratio of the sizes of the containers. So three quarters of a liter will go to the big container, and that's how you get three and three quarters total for the big container. The three comes from the four, and the three quarters comes from the one. If you found this video useful, go to quantreasoning.com for a lot more where that came from. You should also click that like button and let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to make future videos about. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that and click that bell below so you get notified about future videos. See you next time.